Among those awed by the engineering skill of the North American beaver is environmental writer Mark Seth Lender. Here's an essay of his we like so much, we're replaying it. The pond is still as polished stone, a duotone, tannic brown and gray and quiet, a quiet made of fine rain, slow churning of earthworm, purr of woodpecker on a dead tree across to the other shore. Hush of river rolling over the dam of cross sticks, which holds all this, this space, this wetted openness. Toward me now comes the engineer, fast as a blur he comes, the V of his wake deep and sure, nose lifted just above the water. Thick fur, wet but warm, covers him, all but where he sees and breathes and hears, and the pad of his paw. He has no gills, no fins, no scales. When he dives, he holds his breath. Where water flows, he must stop it. Wherever it goes, he will find it. He is drawn by the sound and by the feel and perhaps even the scent. Now closer, as close to me as curiosity demands, till the flat of his tail waves goodbye and smooth as a silk scarf, he disappears underwater. Taming of the liquid force is the life work of the American beaver. It is the product of both forethought and design and an agile mind. First, a survey must be made. Noting where the bank is high and the river narrow, he will begin there. He needs no protractor, no T-square. Lacking transit and plumb bob, he proceeds by rack of eye alone, yet what he builds endures. With saplings and small lumber, in a weave that seems random but is not, with mud, with stones, layer by layer the dam is raised until all water will be conquered. In the finishing of a pond, a beaver takes many trees. Teeth are his adze and axe, and he works in the round, carefully. His lodge later branches is the keep where his family shelters, and their safety is his purpose. High in the leafy tops, predators may lurk in the form of eagles. Low down, cougar and coyote may hide behind the trunks. To hold the standing woods at a distance is not unwise, in a beaver's near-sighted eyes. Among the beaver's works, trout and minnow swim, and great blue herons fish for them. Wood ducks in Kandinsky colors, king fishers, querulous lovers, Painted turtle, drifting ark, dragonflies hunting near dark, late returning red-shouldered hawk. All this is here from what the beaver clears. Much depends upon the engineer. Mark Seth Linder's latest book is called Salt Marsh Diary. There are some of his photographs on our website, LOE.org. Coming up, Christo's latest...